Hi, my name is Avril Sorter and welcome to CCNA Wireless. In this lesson, we're going to take a closer look at the Wi-Fi 802.11 technologies. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at some of the organizations that are involved in either regulating the use of spectrum, defining the standards, or certifying the products themselves. The first organization is the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission. Now they're responsible for regulating the spectrum within the US. And so they look at radio, TV, satellite. They also look at wireline communications, including things like cable and telephony. The FCC will regulate the usage in the band. So it will say, OK, this is for mobile broadband communications. This is for low power satellite communications. And so they define what the usage is and then with that we'll go hear the rules for transmitting in that band and those rules will include things like transmit power out of band emissions when we talk about 802.11 technologies they operate in unlicensed spectrum here in the US which means you don't need to own a license to operate it now if you go to Europe each country in Europe has their own governmental body that manages spectrum in their country. But one of the important regulators that represents all of Europe is referred to as ETSI, the European Telecommunications Standard Institute. Now, ETSI actually was created many years ago, in fact, from an organization called SEP, so the Conference of Postal Telecommunication Administrations. SEP was actually responsible for defining the GSM standards, which have become worldwide famous as a, a leading cellular technology. And then that was handed over to ETSI, and today the 3G PP is the group that looks after the GSM standards as well as the evolution to UMTS and LTE for the cellular side. But ETSI is an important standards organization that's been involved in defining not only GSM standards but also things like Hyperlan and other key technologies in the wireless space. So this next organization is part of the ITU. So the ITU is an agency within the United Nations that takes care of information and communication technologies. So it includes how spectrum is utilized worldwide. And so they make recommendations as to how spectrum should be allocated in an attempt to harmonize usage of spectrum around the world. So the next organization we want to take a look at is the IEEE and that stands for the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers and I'm sure many of you listening to this video are actually a member of the IEEE. Now the IEEE is an international organization with representation for over 175 countries and one of the main standards activity that happens within this association is the 802 group and the 802 group develops both local area networks and metropolitan area networks and those are both wireline and wireless once the standards themselves have been finalized you can actually buy them from the IEEE but if you want to participate and see standards while they're in work in progress then you actually need to be a member of the IEEE and go and attend their meetings